Good morning, I'm Jeff. I'm a sewer tech northwest. Today we're at property address 7089 Southwest Valenta Court here in Portland. We're located at the rear of the home. We're just outside the rear sliding glass door. And from this position here, there's two cleanouts that are identical looking. Uh, this one over here that's closest uh, to the fence, or the, I guess the, the one that's furthest away from the door, that one is going to be, it looks like for the storm drain system, possibly low point. Now uh, the one closest to the door here is the sewer line. We're going to check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We currently have water running. Here we go. dangling from the top of the pipe there that looks like it's probably cobwebs we'll have another look at that on the way out though transitions here at about 14 feet over to 4 inch 30 34 PVC pipe And here at 49 feet out, we have reached the main lateral. I'm going to do locates to verify uh, where the line heads to, which main it terminates at. And then we'll also let the line drain out here for a couple minutes before pulling back. Yeah, it did locate the camera head successfully. The line goes out to the main lateral on southwest 71st. Alright, the line should be pretty much all drained out at this point here. There's just a little bit trickling through. I'm going to try and reel this back here before the dishwasher upstairs shoots a bunch of hot water down the line. We have a teeny tiny amount of standing water right here. It's very, very common. Probably 80% of lines I scope have some right here at the transition point. You got two pieces of two different portions of line being installed at different times, and very rarely are they totally perfect there. That's no no big deal whatsoever. Usually takes you it takes about five feet of pipe with at least three quarters to one inch of standing water before you'll actually get debris building up. And this right here, this is just stuck right to the surface of the pipe. Looks like possibly hair, dental floss, or cobwebs, or something like that just got caught in the pipe there. That's not roots or anything. I'm going to try to reverse direction here and scope back into the house if I can. Um, the way this clean out set up, it probably won't let me do that. I'll put some water on here so I know I'm going the right way. All right, I got the camera reversed here. We may have to turn some water off here when I reel out, just so it's going to be running in the face of the camera. I just wanted to scope back into the house here as far as I could go, make sure there's no debris buildup or anything. And I can't tell. I think portions of the uh, bottom floor down here are on our slab foundation and possibly some of its crawl space. Uh, but this Right here, pretty much all the mainline pipe underneath the, the basement floor. 
and it's all draining out very nicely and is in good condition. We've got good flow all the way out to the main lateral. All the ABS and PVC portions of the line are in great shape. The sewer line is functioning properly at this time. It's a great looking sewer.